welcome back to the vlog so we had a great time to discover that place it was really high <laughs> but it was so much fun and i was constantly telling my boys not to go five feet uh farther from me because i just wanted to have, have my dogs in the row so now that we're back i'm going to continue with some fun projects that i want to do and one of them is something i made previously but today i want to do it on a bigger scale and the other thing oh guys so our washing machine broke but it didn't broke down in a nice manner no <laughs> it that it had to do a drastic one We had a problem with a bar barrel and it released all the rust and oil into my white sheet load. <laughs> It looks like somebody was wearing a muddy clothes and just rolled into our bed that's how it looks like now so I had to buy a new one and I'm about to wash the new ones now so it's gonna be exciting though because I got some flannel ones it's gonna be nice on this in this cold water water <laughs> weather so I'm so happy that George was able to fix that it's definitely a goal then that he can fix those things because I love that washing machine it's a perfect size I love how it works I don't need a fancy with a gazillion button <laughs> this one is pretty simple and does the job so I'm glad it's fixed eggs oh, eggs can you fit it in there I need a fishy voltage mess so can I take a small break a small break just a five minutes and go back to do the math okay and the other thing that was broken in this house and didn't work and that was the light in the living room <sighs> yeah that it, that was a really beautiful choice of light fixture that we had the only minor problem it didn't like the the switch that was a dimmer that sucker it's coming down <laughs> i don't care who's gonna own that stuff but my blessing goes with that <laughs> would be cute in the living room don't you think no <gasps> what did you do uh no nothing you see the box that hanging on what you have this hanging light but it's really not useful in a small space like this one it's really just harder to walk around and that way we're gonna have more space i put the table into the kids room now and eventually down on the road maybe i'm thinking to have a little bit bigger rug over here so that will expand to look bigger and then that will open the space even farther in this room <laughs> like you well, those are the screws it. i think that's how it's held so in. That, it's like a jello <laughs> and i know it doesn't look that pretty that we had previously but guys this is gonna be a lot better at night uh, this type of light it's not really good for you it can mess up your hormones and just you don't get a good sleep so we bought the lamp that you can turn into a yellow one like over there but for the videos I can use the white one that way we can have a yellow light when I don't record when I record I can have the white one oh wow that's yes, nice that's wow that is so neat oh wow we don't even need those lights now anymore that's the one we 
uh, good with lunch because we have some leftover yesterday I cooked some beef and now I'm just going to have to make some potatoes with that and some broccoli so that should be good it's been six years, I think, that I'm doing scan fair every year. So this is gonna be the first one that I don't prepare for the scan fair. And the meaning of that, if you are new to this channel, I like to do some handmade products and paintings and prints. And so I get really, really busy right before Christmas. And I felt really bad <laughs> that I was more busy than usual. So I asked my boys, what what would be the bucket list for them how do they wanna get ready for the Christmas after I'm done with the show the scan fair show and Max said that he wanted to make a cookie that is big as his head so this is how this tradition started we pick one recipe that they really really like and then I turn it into something big one so like a head size of cookie or in that case I am making a gluten-free pretzel and I will link it down below the recipe it's from I think it's from the Bob's Red Bob's meal or something like that <laughs> um, recipe but I adjusted that little bit so I will put what I changed in that recipe I will put that down below in there as well but so for today I am going to make a giant pretzel as big as I can fit into my oven <laughs> Okay, we got the giant pretzels. So this one has some sesame seed on it and it but it had more time to rise up from the yeast. And this one is a little bit more crunchy. And I have some cooked potatoes and some green beans. I'm going to warm up the beef.
Just